Nitrogen is a colorless, odorless element. It is in the soil under our feet, in the water we drink, and in the air we breathe. In fact, nitrogen is the most abundant element in Earth's atmosphere. Approximately 70% of the Earth's atmosphere is nitrogen. Nitrogen is important to all living things, including us. It plays a key role in plant growth. Too little nitrogen in plants cannot thrive, leading to low crop yields. But too much nitrogen can be toxic to plants. Nitrogen is necessary for our food supply, but excess nitrogen can harm the environment. Nitrogen cycle is a biogeochemical process through which nitrogen is converted into many forms, consecutively passing from the atmosphere to the soil to organism and back into the atmosphere. The nitrogen gas exists in both organic and inorganic forms. Organic nitrogen exists in living organisms and they get passed through the food chain by consumption of other living organisms. Inorganic forms of nitrogen are found in abundance in the atmosphere. This nitrogen is made available to plants by symbiotic bacteria which can convert the inert nitrogen into a usable form such as nitrites and nitrates. Nitrogen undergoes various types of transformation to maintain a balance in the ecosystem. Furthermore, this process extends to various biomes, with the marine nitrogen cycle being one of the most complicated biogeochemical cycles. Process of nitrogen cycle consists of the following steps. Nitrogen fixation, nitrification, assimilation, ammonification, and denitrification. Nitrogen fixation. It is the initial step of the nitrogen cycle. Here, atmospheric nitrogen, which is primarily available in an inert form, is converted into usable form, which is the ammonia. During the process of nitrogen fixation, the inert form of nitrogen gas is deposited into soils from the atmosphere and surface waters, mainly through precipitation. Later, the nitrogen undergoes a set of changes in which the nitrogen atoms get separated and combine with hydrogen to form ammonia. The entire process of nitrogen fixation is completed by symbiotic bacteria which are known as diazotrops. Azotobacter and rhizobium also have a major role in this process. These bacteria consist of a nitrogenase enzyme which has the capability to combine gaseous nitrogen with hydrogen to form ammonia. There are three types of nitrogen fixation. First, atmospheric fixation. It is a natural phenomenon where the energy of the lightning breaks the nitrogen into nitrogen oxide and is then used by plants. Second, industrial nitrogen fixation. It is a man-made alternative that aids in nitrogen fixation by the use of ammonia. Ammonia is produced by the direct combination of nitrogen and hydrogen and later, it is converted into various fertilizers such as urea. Third, Biological Nitrogen Fixation We already know that nitrogen is not usable directly from the air for plants and animals. Bacteria like rhizobium and blue-green algae transform the unusable form of nitrogen into other compounds 
that are more readily usable. These nitrogen compounds get fixed in the soil by these microbes. Next step is nitrification. In this process, the ammonia is converted into nitrate by the presence of bacteria in the soil. Nitrites are formed by the oxidation of ammonia with the help of Nitrosomonas bacterium species. Later, the produced nitrites are converted into nitrates by Nitrobacter. This conversion is very important as ammonia gas is toxic for plants. The third step is assimilation, where primary producers like plants take in the nitrogen compounds from the soil with the help of their roots, which are available in the form of ammonia, nitrite ions, nitrate ions, or ammonium ions, and are used in the formation of the plant and animal proteins. This way, it enters food web when the primary consumers eat the plants. The fourth step is ammonification. When plants or animals die, the nitrogen present in the organic matter is released back into the soil. The decomposers, which are bacteria or fungi present in the soil, convert the organic matter back into ammonium. This process of decomposition produces ammonia, which is further used for other biological processes. Denitrification It is the process in which the nitrogen compounds make its way back into the atmosphere by converting nitrate into gaseous nitrogen. This process of nitrogen cycle is the final stage and occurs in the absence of oxygen. Denitrification is carried out by the nitrifying bacterial species such as Plastidium and Pseudomonas, which will process nitrate to gain oxygen and gives out free nitrogen gas as a byproduct.